has done for me He has done for you He has done for us Come and listen Come and listen to what He's done Come and listen Come and listen to what He's done
darkest places your love carries your love carries me through all the valleys and the darkest places This far, oh, I'll take a moment to remember the one who carried me through, the one who carried me through every valley. For there were times when I thought that I would be alone with my fears. There was a time. to you, I cry to you, my God.
Psalm 66, 16 to 20. Verse 16. Come and hear all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul. God, we confess and sing with our lips to you tonight of the faithful works that you have done in our lives. God, you are the one who has saved our souls. God, you have shown your love to us by giving us your Son that in exchange for our sins that we might be given his eternal perfection. We have been forever welcomed into fellowship with you and into your presence. So we come to you and we enter into your presence tonight. God, not upon the basis of anything that we have done, but upon the basis of what you have done for our souls. We remember what you have done. We come to you not in striving, but in humility. You have and you are continuing to uniquely write out powerfully te powerful testimonies in each of our lives of your love. God, we, we reflect upon these tonight that as we sing to you, those who fear your name may be stirred to praise and worship you. Shine through 
Psalm 66, verse 17. I cried to him with my mouth, and high praise was on my tongue. God, high praise is on our tongue too tonight. We praise you, wonderful and almighty God. With our mouth, we cry out to you in praise and in adoration. God, we pray that you would cause our crying out to you to come from a place deep within us by your Spirit, bringing conviction of who you are to our souls again. On our own, we cannot even begin to grasp just how glorious, majestic, wonderful, splendid and beautiful you are. We want to know you more. We need your Holy Spirit to come upon us to show us and teach us these things. So we come to you tonight fully submitting ourselves to the leading of your Spirit, asking that you fill us with glorious revelation and that as we are filled, that we will respond with wholehearted praise and worship to you.
yourself to be the perfect father and you prove yourself to be the perfect lover you proved yourself to be the perfect deliverer what a savior So 
so good to me. So good, so so good to me. So good, so so good to me, Jesus. He's been so good, so so good to me. So good, so so good to me. So good, so so good to me, Jesus. Cause he picked me up and he turned me around and he placed my feet on a solid ground. Now, where are your accusers now? There 
is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Where are your accusers now? Where are your accusers now? There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Where are your accusers now? Where are your accusers now? There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Where are your accusers now? Where are your accusers? With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, you are the God who saves, deliverer, your name. With a mighty
my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy. For you are my joy, you are my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy. You are my joy, you are my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy. You are my joy, you are my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy. You are my joy, you are my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy. Steal my joy, I won't let anyone steal my joy. You are my joy, you are my joy, you are my joy, you are my joy, God. God, we thank you that tonight that you are restoring unto our souls the joy of our salvation. And God, we thank you that this joy is a joy that runs deep within our souls, God. That it's a joy that even persists as we walk in the valley, as we walk through the valley. And God, that you give it to us. That it doesn't have to come from a place of striving. It doesn't have to come from a place of trying to force it out of ourselves. But God, we simply give it to those who ask of it. So God, may we continue to ask more of your joy.
May they be reminded that prayer is such a treasure you have given to them. That through Jesus they're able to speak to you face to face. That they're able to come to you and call you Father. They are able to surrender their burdens, their worries and concerns to you. Father, in that place of surrender, we know that you meet us. So we pray that you would meet them and that you'd fill them with your peace that surpasses all understanding and knowledge. By your Spirit, fill them with your peace. Peace that does not make sense to this world because it allows them to persevere through persecution and suffering. Father, we declare that this peace you will fill them with will give them the authority to rule over their hearts and minds and that they will not be anxious. They are not ones who are anxious, but they are ones who are marked by your peace. Let's pray. That is 
is hope. Your hope is the anchor for our souls. We pray that you would renew hope within the persecuted believers of North Korea tonight. We declare that Jesus is their forerunner on their behalf, who has become a high priest for them, forever allowing them to fully access your hope. This hope goes beyond the things that they see. God, this hope goes beyond, Father, their circumstances and their situation. May their hope, God, Father, enable them to believe in your promises of faithfulness towards them again. Your promise of the salvation of their souls. Your promise that your spirit, your presence will be with them to the very end of the ages and will will enable them to overcome and pass every trial. And your promise that one day that you will return for them. God, we declare that despite persecution, hope is rising up. Hope is rising up. Supernatural hope is rising up to press onwards as they are believing for your promises again. Let's pray.
love the nation of North Korea. And God, that you have not forgotten your people, that you have not forgotten the believers who are being persecuted. God, you are allowing them to run the race marked up before them with, with a perseverance, God, and a faith that persists even in the midst of their trials and persecutions. God, you were giving them a perseverance, Father, to push forward and to continue, Father. God, we pray that you'd continue to increase this perseverance within them. Father, help them to know what they are running after. Help them to keep their eyes fixed on them, on the prize, which is you, Jesus. May you fill them with comfort, peace, hope and joy, just as we pray tonight. God, we seal these prayers by your Spirit and we pray all of these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to sing one more time. Um, I need you more. And as we uh, sing this song, uh, we will be prophesying this over the believers that are in North Korea tonight. Um, we know that it's not just strength that they need is not just human wisdom that they need but they need an encounter with the lord and they need more of him so as we sing this we're going to prophesy this over our brothers and sisters in north korea so i need you more
and the cries of the saints both in this room Lord God and also for our brothers and sisters in North Korea Lord God we do not relent and we do not give up in praying for them on their behalf Lord God we prophesy that tonight Lord God they are coming to you Lord God with a greater hunger a greater need a greater thirst Lord God for more of you not just perseverance not just getting through uh, their problems not just getting through the persecution, Lord God, but they would be able to come out of this, Lord God, filled with your joy, filled with your spirit, Lord God, knowing you with greater intimacy, knowing, God, that you are the God who carries them through the valleys, you're the God who carries them through the shadows, you're a God who carries them all the way through, and you're not a God that will leave them nor forsake them. We thank you, God, that this is what you're doing tonight. Lord God, as, as we lift up our hands to you, Lord God, and we give you the highest praise. May we know, God, that you are worthy of our sacrifice. You're worthy of our worship. You're worthy of every part of our lives. So, God, we come to you. We bless your name. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. <laughs> 